What's up guys, Manos here, and today I'll be teaching you how to make a super simple cobblestone farm on the Bedrock Edition. All the items that you'll need for the farm are on screen. You'll need 6 observers, 1 stack of any type of blocks that you want, 1 barrel, 5 hoppers, 2 trap doors, 7 bits of redstone dust, 5 obsidian, 5 pistons, 1 lava bucket, and 5 water buckets. To get started, you're going to want to make a 3x2 hole. Take out your observers and face it towards the block. And don't place it like that. Place it again like this. Have an observer facing towards this. So here, here, and then place it going down again. And then break this observer and, no, don't do that. Place it facing towards the other observer that's facing down. Now, if you get a redstone pulse going like this, means you're doing it right. And the clock is now done. Then take, take out your 64 blocks and destroy the, the redstone dust and destroy the block under and then place it like this. Place one to the side, one up. Place your redstone dust like this so the redstone pulse gets sent over and over again. And then make another stairway. One, two, three, four, five. And then place the rest of your redstone dust on the blocks. Then take out the rest of your blocks and place it in front of the, the hanging blocks with the redstone dust on. So like this and here. One, two, three, four, five. So the piston should be firing all in sync. Then break the redstone dust so we don't have to hear that annoying sound over and over again. And place in some concrete or whatever block that you have on the sides. Then place in more blocks in front and have the sides covered. Place in more blocks in the front with the sides covered. And block off this area. Next, take out your five buckets of water. Then place it all in the pistons and they should waterlog. So after you waterlog the pistons, then grab out your regular blocks and cover up the pistons. Then grab out your more of your regular blocks and make a new station. And then place more blocks to cover up this hole. Then place blocks above, and then cover up the sides, cover up the sides again on the other side, break the blocks on the bottom, get out of the hole, place blocks over, grab out your lava bucket and place lava over the water. It doesn't have to be five, but I just did it just for fun. And with that done, grab up your five obsidian and d take out five blocks, two, three, four, five, and then place in your five pieces of obsidian, blocks of obsidian, poke a hole, place a trap door, poke another hole, place another trap door, and connect the redstone now. Grab out your one redstone dust and place it right here. And now if this doesn't happen, then Rewatch the video. So this should be the outcome. And now we have to make the collection system. Break the bottom under the trapdoor, the lock under the trapdoor, and then break it again, break all the stone. Place your barrel. Go to the back, break all the blocks again. Break your trapdoor, break the blocks. Try not to break your barrel. Replace the barrel and place in all the hoppers. Place in the block and the trapdoor. And then turn on the farm now with your redstone dust again. 
and now the farm is now working. So if you do go into survival mode, the iron pickaxe can probably break this at a pretty normal rate. So you'll even if you break a few blocks, you'll never get to the end. But if you have a haste to and efficiency, then you'll probably reach the end pretty fast. So this farm is cranking out stone. Let's see how much we have at the end. Dude, it's just coming again. Okay, for the netherite pickaxe, it's a bit faster, so you'll kind of break like a few blocks. You won't reach the end though, so don't worry about the farm breaking. If you do want to make this far more efficient, I guess you could probably have an enchanted pickaxe and just have a beacon nearby. But in that amount of time, we have a stack in 17 stone, which isn't too bad, which is actually better than most of the other farms that you usually see on the internet. And it's raining. That's the saddest part. Let's change it back to sunny because nobody likes to rain. And this is going to conclude today's episode on the minecraft survival guide no it's not a minecraft it's just a tutorial series that i'm starting on my channel the first episode actually today is the first episode if you didn't see my my what's it called tra channel trailer where i told or talked about it then go check that out it'll be those good should, there should be a card on screen somewhere i don't know which side it's on it's on the left right it's on the left even though i can't see it so hit that like button and subscribe if you did and i'll see you on the next one bye